AI uh, came for digital and analog profile and uh, there were there was a CG cutoff of 7.5 and uh, basically there were three rounds. First was online test and then one technical round and one was HR interview. Like it was not an interview, it was an HR call. So this is the overview. So in online test, basically there were three sections. First was aptitude, second was analog and third was digital. The overall duration of the online test was two hours and it was divided for 30 minutes for aptitude and 20 questions were there in aptitude and 45 minutes for each digital and analog and they both had 20 questions each. So aptitude was very easy, like it was pretty straightforward and there were like nothing uh, difficult questions. The main uh, questions that came from were quant and uh, they were like probability and uh, time distance questions, general aptitude questions. And there was one question on uh, data interpretation, which was very easy. And the other one was on logical reasoning. Now coming to the technical sections, uh, the first one was analog. So in um, analog, there were mainly questions from RLC circuits, like uh, uh, we had to find the Q, um, the Q factor and uh, the 3dB bandwidth of the given RLC circuit. And uh, there were questions on op-amp where we had to find the gain of the op-amp and uh, uh, the output of the given op-amp. And also there were questions on MOSFET as uh, DC analysis and AC analysis of MOSFET. So yeah, this was all about analog section. Then in digital section, the primary focus was on uh, sequential portion and uh, it were, it came that there were like multiple questions on counters and the difficulty level was uh, uh, re of the gate level. Like the questions were little more twisted than the gate level. But if you have solved the gate level questions, then you will be able to solve them also. And uh, there were also questions from crosstalk and um, there were questions from uh, uh, VLSI design, that is CMOS as an inverter, uh, transmission gates, uh, and yeah, that is it. I felt that the analog portion was a little more difficult than the digital portion, and it had questions which were like higher than the gate level. So yeah, analog portion was overall uh, difficult. Uh, for aptitude, um, I solved a few questions from India Bix website and uh, for a digital portion, I went through uh, previous year gate questions and I had prepared uh, digital very well at the time of gate preparation. So I had my notes from that also. So and um, for analog, again, I went through some previous year uh, gate questions of network and analog electronics. Yeah, that is it. And the sources of preparation for digital electronics, uh, it is my gate notes and previous year gate questions for aptitude, India Bix website, and for analog electronics, again, previous year gate questions and RLC uh, circuits from network theorems. So uh, my interview started with uh, the interviewers uh, asking me to give a general view about what are the courses that I have taken uh, during my ME. So I told him about the various courses like VLSI design, VLSI architectures, reconfigurable computing, et cetera, that I have done during my ME. So then he asked me that what are the things that are that were covered in VLSI design? So I told him about all the various topics that were covered in that course. Uh, then he asked me that if I have studied static timing analysis. So I said, yes, I have. So then he gave me a problem on STA. Uh, it was a very basic problem where I had to find if there are any violations in the circuit. So then I solved that question and then he modified uh, the circuit so that there were violations. Then he told me to check again and then he told me to uh, fix the violations without changing the clock frequency. And uh, he kept on modifying the similar circuit by adding various violations and asked me to uh, fix those violations and what are the ways that we can fix these violations and uh, if there is a way that I can fix the violations after the chip is being taped, after the chip is uh, taped out. So yeah, there was like a whole discussion on STA. It was like about 20 to 25 minutes he discussed SDA, STA with me. 
so sta is like a very important topic for interviews almost all the interviewers ask uh, uh, ask about sta so next he asked me if i had done any verilog project so i told him that i have done a few verilog projects so he asked me to explain one of them so i explained one of my verilog projects to him then uh, uh, like it was very brief explanation and then he asked me uh, and then he gave me a problem on a fifo memory like to find the depth of the memory needed for he gave he formulated a problem and then asked me to find the depth of the memory needed for that given problem so initially i was not able to understand the problem and i had done it like really wrong in a really wrong way so the interviewer explained the problem properly to me and then he gave me some hints so then i understood the problem and then i solved the question so the interviewers are going to give you hints and they are very friendly so there's no need to like be, uh, there's no need to panic and listen to the what, what the interviewer is saying he is actually trying to help you so he helped me with that problem so that i could solve the problem and then i solved it correctly then uh, there were actually two interviews then the next interviewer came and he asked and then he asked me to write a equation then i wrote the equation and then i was asked to design a combinational circuit for the given equation so the equation was like pretty straight forward but there were multiple approaches in which we can design a circuit for that so he was looking for the optimum way so that i can design a circuit in the minimum hardware so that so initially again i initially did it like in a lengthy way then he gave a little hints and so that i so i uh, it took me a little at, uh, two or three attempts to reach to the optimal design and then he modified that equation for more number of bits then again since i had understood the problem in the first attempt so i designed the optimal design for the more number of bits so he was like satisfied with the solution that i had given so this uh, my technical round lasted for around 1 hour and 15 minutes approximately and i think the interviewers were very friendly and uh, uh, i initially i was uh, very, a little uh panicked because uh, i had just given the link to join the interview immediately but uh, when i talked to the interviewers i felt a little comfortable and as the interview went on i felt very uh, comfortable during the interview so and uh, one more thing the interviewers are actually trying to see how you approach the problem like uh, for the end results they will help you but uh, you have to start with a good approach initially and um, also i was using a wacom pad and i was sharing my screen uh, i had opened one note and i was sharing my screen so that he could clearly see how i was moving with the problem so it is in your hands to like be equipped with the with uh, uh, like be equipped with the amount of uh, like equipment so that uh, Uh, you you ha have comfort you feel comfortable while giving the interview and the interview also could see all the things properly okay coming to the sources of preparation for vlsi design i read the book by john Ra rabe it's a very good book and for static timing analysis i referred to one website that is vlsi blog it has uh, two videos from nptel teachers on static timing analysis and these are very good videos and for vlsi architectures i referred the book patterns in and it has also uh, in the appendix uh, there is uh, stuff given for cache memories also so i prepared cache memories from that book only and coming to the course on cad for ic design i referred to the videos by indranil singh gupta sir uh which are available on youtube i watched the videos on uh, dft that is uh, done for testabilities and uh, low power design and uh, you also uh, you have to be very good with the asic the whole overall asic flow so uh, there's a video two or three videos on that also so i also watched these videos and uh, now coming to uh, uh, digital electronics i prepared digital electronics from book by uh, morris mano 
and uh, for very long i refer to the book samir palnetkar and for very long it is very important that you uh, do projects on very long so this is the only way that you can learn a language i had done two or three good projects on very long and so uh, very long you can learn by doing some projects by yourself uh, like uh, you need to do your projects like really well because you learn while doing projects and it like stays in your memory so there is no like end moment uh, preparation that you have to do a lot of things uh, so by while doing projects do your design projects very well like be it on analog ic design or uh, very log or vlsi design so it will help you so that you can learn the tool properly and also you will like you will understand how things are going so it is very important to do your projects well yeah that is it and be confident during the interview like the interview is a good and approachable so yeah that is it all the best everyone